So 50 women in the church, including the girls. I'm saying write their names. Don't limit this squad only to those who come to the women's ministry. Because every girl, lady, woman is supposed to be part. So the squad is going to cause everyone to be part. That is why we are saying organizing the church in squads, small groups. So 50, I'll give this lady 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Now, I'm the woman's leader. I'm responsible for 50 women to bring them for women's class once a month. And then I find these leaders and then I give them squares 10, 10, 10, 10. I will be praying with these people and planning the, the upcoming women's ministry program with them. And so after prayer, what are some of the questions you think I will ask you? Because we are planning ag against the coming uh, ministry day. What are some of the questions? I, I see that you are thinking. Eh? So what, what, what do you think I will ask you? You are still thinking. Because you are a leader over a certain group of people. We are coming for meetings. Our intention is to make sure that the place is flooded with people. That is why you are helping me lead. And so, what are some of the questions the leader will ask? Uh -huh. The leader will ask, what will we do so that the place will be full? What will we do so that the place will be full? Maybe that will be the question. How then you ask um, how the members are doing? How, how your 10 members are doing? That will also be helpful. The leader will want to know. But more importantly, what do you think will be his ultimate question? Yes. How the leader will be able to convey all the things? How are you bringing them to the ministry? How? Because now we are mobilizing squares. So you are bringing your tent. She's bringing the tent. Everybody is bringing the tent. When you bring the tent, I have brought my 50. You understand? Yeah, the Church of Pentecost has grown very big. And no one should be a chair warmer. Everybody should be asked to do something. Even this 10 10 for me is just too big. We can make it 5 5. Now, let's say that we come to the women's ministry and I'm the leader strategically. I will give, what name do you want? A name, any, any woman's name in the Bible? Deborah. 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 You too. Hmm? Ruth. Ruth. Yes. Dorcas group. Yes. Abigail's group. Mary's group. My wife's group. Okay. So, we call this group. Then if this group comes and she's able to come with all her ten. Will you be happy? Yes, I am. Very, Very happy. Then, once these people are singing, what will be going through your mind? You, you are going to be called, but you have not been called yet. What will be going through your mind? <laughs> what will be going through your mind? What should be going through your mind? Yeah? Do you know what should be going through your mind? No, I didn't get the question, sorry. Now, we have called Deborah's group. All the 10 members have come. And she's very happy. People are clapping. They themselves are dancing because everyone is present. It means that Deborah's leader is doing something good. You are going to be called. You are going to be called. You are going to be called. What should be going through your mind? You ask yourself, will all my people be into? Will all my people be into? But we have started church. <laughs> so, so what she'll be doing is that she'll be checking whether her people are in. Now they call her group, your name? Abigail's group. Abigail's group, they were two and a half people came to church. Just two and a half. Okay. And then Mary two, three people came to church. And then I've forgotten your group. Dorcas. Hey, Dorcas, yeah, you are a good girl, so let's say seven people came to church. And then your group? Ruth. Ruth. Hey, Ruth, Ruth. Ruth is not an Israelite, so let's say one person came to church. <laughs> now, let's say that if tomorrow 
you want to replace the local leader because of age or he has, she served her term. Which of these will you consider to be the leader? Uh-huh. Deborah. Because if you go and take Ruth, she will collapse the women's ministry. You understand? So what we are doing, we are mobilizing the squads, but effectively we are also building tomorrow's leaders. There should be nobody who will come here and be a bench warmer. And let, let's leave nobody space to backslide. Everybody must be in church. When we are coming to church and we think that we are 200 on the, the register, we should come and meet 215 people so that the 15 will be people who have come to visit us. Everybody must be in church. But this one is work, real work. But if we're able to do it and we pay attention, we add prayer and seriousness, this church will go very, very far. Mm-hmm.